So just going back to the job in hand, yeah. like I said, I'm quite happy using this sort of size of journal now and this weight of paper. I, and then I, what I can do, you can do a little pencil sketch or a biro sketch as I use. And as you can see from the, the picture, the reference photograph we've got today, normally I'd be sat in a cafe with a little coffee sketching the scene. But by doing a little thumbnail sketch, you think, oh, that's great. But then I've realized the lighthouse is kind of in the wrong place. I wanted a nice reflection. So then I tested some colors and so on. And I redid this again um, with some with a biro sketch and then putting some color on. As you can see, I've moved the, the lighthouse over a little bit. So it just kind of works better as a, a picture. This as a is composition. As a composition, you're right. So I'm gonna now try and replicate this on a slightly larger scale, which to be honest, I wouldn't normally walk, work in this style at that size, but uh, we'll have a go. This is a little, little painting, little photograph of a harbour on the island of Crete, where I will be going as a resident artist in May. It's called um, Rethmenon, isn't it? Rethmen, Rethmenon, Rethmenon, <laughs> yes. And um, one of the destinations will be in painting in this harbour, it's gonna be great. Details of that later on. So you're going to do the sketch straight in Byra, rather brave. It is, yeah. I kind of like working in the Byra. If you move to one side slightly, um, okay. I'm going to just, uh, I don't normally use a rod, but it, it's quite nice just to get a, something of a horizon in, just to sort of mark where the water is, that kind of thing. So that's going to be going. And actually, I've got a confession. I have actually flipped this photograph because um, it's somehow easier as a right-handed person it's easier to draw the boats which are difficult enough believe me to draw the boats in that kind of angle so, cheating um, Simon already I think the word on is the artistic off. license <laughs> off, meanwhile, on the off okay, meanwhile back in the picture okay so this time <laughs> let me just have a look just very the, the nice thing about working with a biro is it's you can do little sort of light sketches and dark and heavier ones later on. So I'm just keeping it very, very light, very loose here. We've got this kind of sea wall there and it kind of comes over here somewhere. I tend to do the background first and then concentrate on the foreground. So we've got that kind of thing there. Just, it's a, more of a, at this stage, it's just a positional guide. Imagine this is much smaller in a Greek cafe. So then what have we got? We've got a few buildings kind of sloping down slightly over here. You actually admitted you were a little bit nervous for today's no, lives, yeah. Well, it's been a long time. I mean, we were doing a lot of lives, weren't we, during lockdown. And we got kind of confident and blasé. Um, so now it's sort of back in at the deep end. I'm just sort of uh, getting back in the swing. A few mountains over there. It's funny. It's one of those things. I'm just writing um, an article for our, um, for our website. And I was saying one of the things that we try and do when we try and find painting locations is to find places where people are not going to have loads of people looking over their shoulder because it's quite disconcerting, isn't it? When you've it got, can be, yes. When you're not very confident as an artist to have people sort of staring over your shoulder and it sort of makes you feel a little self-conscious. So, just to interrupt, this is... Yeah. So just getting the loose shapes in first and then I'll worry about the windows and you don't want I'm to get... I'm just going to zoom in a bit so people can really see the detail. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to get too bogged down in the in the windows and so on. And then it's kind of this, this is a key picture here, the boat, I think it's a little bit of a... And then it sort of swings, it's kind of, it's sort of about there, isn't it? People are saying that they learned so much from you during lockdown. Oh, that's good. That's good. It was worth it. It was worth it after all that. So yeah, now so you see what I've done now. This is the boat, yeah. and I thought, okay, well, it, it's kind of right at that shadow reflection. So that's going to be there, and roughly the front is there. There's going to be one here. I mean, it looks very complicated, but I don't know why I chose this picture. But um, on the day, you know, if you look, it, it's just about. But it's about simplifying things down as well, isn't it? Simplifying it down as well, yeah, easily said. And also a question, yeah. um, why are you working in Byra? Why not in pencil? I, you know, I, maybe at this size I would work in, in pencil. I just, I think what it was, was that as I was writing journals, it all started on my motorbike trip. I did a um, trip overland to India and I was writing my daily journal and I thought, actually, I'm going to do some drawings here while I'm at it. And I think probably because I got it in my hand. But I did a quick sketch. And the good thing as well, like I said, it's light, it can be dark, 
And it's also waterproof, so you just can splash on some. You paint. can just put your colour on. Put some, yeah. And I suppose when you're travelling, it's just another one yeah. less thing to kind of ha have in your top pocket. Is yeah, exactly. I mean, travel journaling. It's a good question. I don't really know what the answer, but I, I just sort of like the the, the quality of the color. line. The quality of the line. That'll do. Yeah, let's say that. So, like I said, there's lots of lots of equipment on these boats, but the main thing is just to get a where's that it's this kind of canopy look, and that kind of comes in about here. I'm not I'm not going to draw all this on because I'll be here for hours, but I'm just getting a bit of a shape. As a, as We're trying to keep this one fairly short as well, aren't we? Fairly short, yeah, just to show how quick you can be in. Um, travel journal mode. Um, so yeah, I'm, okay, it's probably easier to work from a photograph. I don't know, is it easier to work from a photograph? Actually live? I don't know. I think the, the big thing when you're working live is to make sure that you don't get distracted by, you know, keeping the main scene in mind and not worrying whether there's a person there and then suddenly there isn't a person there and, and things good like point. that. Good point, yeah, that's a good point. Or it, if a boat suddenly pulls into your shot that wasn't there before. That's uh, always a bit of, yeah, often. Uh, but I mean, what, uh, in that case, what I encourage people to do is to actually take photographs of the scene they're about to sit and paint. Because yes, sometimes that boat will now just go out to sea. And it kind of... Uh, that is the advantage though, isn't it, of mobile phones, is we always have reference to hand, which is something... That's true, yeah. Years ago, we just never had. You, you really did have to... Paint in the moment. Yeah, that's right. Um, and we're actually going on this Moroccan holiday uh, in October, and um, I'm actually going to encourage people to take photographs to work from in the you know busy through the bazaar through the souk, and then to actually go onto the terrace to sort of add the colour work. Right. Um, yeah, that's. Um, so we've actually. I mean, I'm sure you know quite bizarrely when we were doing all these lives a few years ago. Um, Obviously, the world was locked down. We had no holidays. Um, we had our first holiday last year in September, which was fully booked and went really, really well. Um, and we've got two French holidays next year. Um, Simon's going to be a visiting tutor or resident tutor on a another company that has... Um, that has invited him along, and this will be the Crete and Santorini trip in May. Crete and Santorini, ladies and gentlemen. And then we are also doing a Moroccan trip. So Simon and I kind of fell in love with Morocco. Well, we'd both done separate trips to Morocco before this, but a few years ago we did a, a slightly challenging motorbike trip <laughs> around Morocco for just over a month. That, yeah. um, we, But we... Um, I, I suppose we, we kind of got to know Morocco better and in October last year we went and did a, well no it was November wasn't it, we did a recce with a view to doing a painting holiday out there which we are doing at the beginning of October next year. So if you're looking for something a little bit more adventurous, yes. um, I met a woman on Instagram, uh, Maria, who owns a fantastic Riyadh in Marrakesh and we're going to be staying there on the Marrakesh leg and then we've booked a absolutely wonderful um, villa just outside Isawera. Um, That's on the we'll, Atlantic coast. On huh? the Atlantic coast so it'll be a real mix you know we're going we call it from Casbah to coast so we'll be doing sort of three four days in Marrakesh we're going up into the Atlas Mountains for a day as well so you'll get a really different feel at that point and then we drive over to um, Esawera on the Atlantic coast, which is again just got a completely different feel to it. We're kind of looking forward to that one. I'm not going to Greece. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I'm getting to go by myself. Perfect. Hey, you're looking yes, forward to it. Certainly am. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, as you can see, what I've done now. I've, I'm going to zoom in again. I started with the very loose shapes, just positioning. Yeah, the boat, and then the reflection, and then a rough block, block of. Uh, little street front houses here, cafe side, quayside, and now I think we're pretty well. That would probably be enough as a as a base. As a base, yeah. I mean, if I was doing a full size painting, I might 
really just relax and take my time and draw all the little details in. But there. this is very much about a travel sketch. It is isn't indeed. It? it is indeed. It's so a, it's a sketch rather a sketch. than a. Yeah. So what I've got, you might want to just. Uh, okay. Do we want to look at your paint palette? Paint palette. Yes, I've got a yellows, ochres, burnt sienna, burnt. I'll list all the colours later on. Yeah. But You're actually using quite a large palette. You wouldn't use something as big as this if you were traveling, It's true. Would you? Actually, what I was going to say, I'm going to try out these um, palettes, if we can get them open. These are obviously that much smaller, but in the same way, you can put all, you just squeeze your paints into here, mix the paints on there, take them home. Okay. So basically what happens is with your paints, they dry slightly and then you can reuse them just by putting water on them again. Yeah. That's right, yeah. That's, it's, a, it's a good economic way of adding paint or getting paint to uh into a palette uh just sort of squeezing it out of the tubes into the place so i'm going to start actually i think i need a bigger brush um excuse me a second should I lean over it so just we've got it this is our studio <laughs> computers that's normally where i sit and um do all our website stuff and um when we have people actually painting in the studio that is so just a very quick yep. one your your so okay the, yeah what i've done your color what are you i'm going to start the there? sky i've got a big brush lots of water lots of cerulean blue i think so literally 100 percent cerulean yeah at this it's point. always good always good to have a little bit of paper on scrap paper on the side and i'm just going to take a deep breath and, and um paint this in i'm going to yeah just kind of do this across here this may all run down the page but this is a it's a kind of travel journal sketch technique I'm just going to just paint a little bit around the, around there. I know what's going to happen. The, the sketch I did yesterday. It's going to be way better. Be than way this better one. than this one. But no. So I'm just going to just add a little bit more water. It's down. always a little more of a challenge working on an easel, though, isn't it, with watercolor, it is, yes. especially when you're working quite wet, because yeah, it can sort of it can exactly run, run down, down the a page. But that's I think that's going to. The feel and what I'll do I'll just people know this one I'll just rinse my brush and I'll just while that's damp just put a few little there uh, I'm not gonna get too bogged down with the with the clouds but that's quite a nice keep wiping the brush sweeping that across there I mean you're obviously using quite a big brush here but on a smaller sketch you wouldn't be using something as large as no that, this is it. I mean this is why these I love this set of brushes here which are kind of um you get a range of sizes, they just get clipped together, bulletproof. In and, a it's, tin, and it, it and protects you them. It does, yeah, they're great for, for traveling. And I'm still working out the best way to do that. So while I've got the, I might just put a little touch of something a bit richer in that sky. So what are you adding to that? This is a bit of um, Pathalo blue. It's a nice sort of Mediterranean summer. Well, surely there should be a G in, isn't it? Um, let me just. <laughs> it very much is a sort of Mediterranean blue though, isn't yeah. it, where we get these yeah. incredibly bright blue skies in the summer. Let's just see how that goes. I mean, I'll just wipe that back. So it's while it's still damp, you see, you can still mech around with it. So while I'm, I've got the blue in my hand, I'm going to put a little bit of blue in this sort of water area and then come back with the uh, reflections. So not... Are you going to try and re replicate that sort of blue-green colour a little bit? I am going to try, but <laughs> I might not get it. So have you added yeah. a little bit of green to your blue or uh, not? Not yet, stage? no. I'm, I'm just going to we've got this sort of light blue going on in the background. Right. And it's it's kind of we you know the reflection, I'm gonna paint around that. There's, a, there's gonna be a bit of a sort of ochre reflection there. So with the watercolour, it's it's so much easier to add more colour than try and take it away. So I'm just Keeping this flooding on there. Bit of a dry brush effect is quite good. Um, perhaps a little bit darker down the bottom look. I'm going to leave that greeny area. Oh no, open up it a little bit. So you're actually going to put, you're putting a base colour down and you'll possibly add a little bit of green to that afterwards. Yeah, okay. that's right. So now I've got... There's a little bit of uh, water there. Look, that's probably going to be more greeny, but I'll do that. So we're sort of looking through the boats. Yeah. 
and then there's just down here as well um, that's quite nice and bright so you don't have to be too accurate um, it's quite nice if you leave a few sort of brush strokes and things it gets a little bit stronger there the big thing is is it, it is a sort of sketching style as well it's a sketching it? style thank you darling that's exactly right um, so actually I'm going to come back to that later on so now I'm just going to have a look at the so, no, I'm not going to go back actually and repair it. I'm just going to go recklessly straight forward. I could, I would sort of be tempted to just wipe that back a bit if it was um, a painting painting, but I think it's a travel sketch. So now I'm going to get some ochre. Okay, once this is dry, in fact, let me just quickly dry this. Um, normally it would be the Greek sun that would dry this. But, <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, Liana. It's air dryers. So what I'm doing now, I'm just getting a, my favourite. Uh, Naples yellow, just um, again pure Naples yellow. Do you pure tend Naples to use... yellow, yeah. To start off with, right. And um, I just want to get a just a yeah, that literally just it's quite. It's about just getting a big brush stroke on if you can really, um, or relatively on your smaller journal. <laughs> on your smaller, yes, exactly, yeah. Um, let's let's put some. Where else we got? Maybe there's a there's a bit of a. A glimpse of the village to the back, so I'm going to put a little something there. This is quite a bright building, isn't it? Let's put some yellow on there. It's bright, but it's also where the sun is coming from, isn't it? Which makes it look brighter. That's true, yeah. The, the light's coming from over there, so I'm going to put some shade on here. I mean, is that an important thing as well, is to sort of really have a good idea of where your sun is coming from when you paint painting light? Absolutely, yeah. Um, in fact, it's key. Like... Here you can tell, <coughs> excuse me, the sun's coming from over here Yeah. because I've reversed the picture. And so the shadows are on the, the kind of the other side. The shadows are going to be here. In fact, yeah. I might just put a wash of shadow there and there. And yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is, <coughs> excuse me, put some um, a kind of Payne's Grey and a magenta mix just to kind of warm that shadow tone up a little bit. Can you see these or? Um, let me just quickly. So okay. you, that's Payne's grey and magenta you were saying. A little bit of uh, this kind of magenta colour here. It's so yeah. funny, I wouldn't think of that as being magenta. You know, coming from uh, a design background, magenta is that very, very unprocessed sort of well, pink. It probably would be, but let, I'm going to just take a deep breath and put some shadow tone in here, look. Yeah. And um, that looks quite dark, but I think it will. It's so funny because right, I look at that photograph and I wouldn't, it's, it, I look you at those buildings and I right. go, well, they're white, you know? Uh, yes, I may have put it on a bit too dark, but no, I think it'll clear up. I'm just going to put this, just some shadow area down here. I should really be letting this dry. So what I'm going to do is come back to that area. I'm going to put a little hint of those um, buildings, uh, sorry, the mountains in the background. We've got a kind of a um, slightly bluey grey feel. So what colour, what have you, have you just added a bit of Payne's grey to your added, cerulean blue? Yeah, that's right. I've just added a little bit of, bit of grey to the... Um, the blue mix. The blue mix, the sky mix. I'm just sort of brushing those in. I mean, again, when you, I noticed you just used the same pot of colour. Is it because you tend to work from your lighter colours and then move up to dark so that you're not that worried at that point that actually that blue has... You don't actually have to keep the original blue. No, that's that's right. Um, yeah, by keeping the same basic palette, it does have give the the whole picture a nice kind of um, mood. I think might be the way you could describe it. I'm just going to put a few little hints of shadows in the buildings, and then over here. So fear not, we're going to come back and add details to these at this stage it's just sort of putting areas of color on and then we're going to add some details as we go but again being a sketch not too many yeah. that's right you're right it's a limited time let's have a look let's put a few there put a shadow down there look i mean do you think i've been doing quite a lot of reading up about stuff recently and um you know, this discipline of actually painting on a regular basis. 
I mean, do you think it's a good challenge for people to set themselves is just using photographs, create a daily journal or and and do a little sketch every single day, you know, which takes them half an hour and that would be brilliant. Just yes, keeps you in practice. That, if you could set that time aside. Um, even just working for me, hobby photographs, you know, they're just having a little start with a book, little book A5 format and um, sketch away. I'm just gonna put some there's some sort of bluey shadows on these boats here, look. Once again, just sort of big areas of colours, a little bit of quite loose. We're going to put some details on afterwards. There is this super strong blue, which I confess I had trouble with yesterday trying to work it out. Yeah, because it's kind of blue on blue, isn't it? So you really yeah. needed to stand out from... So I'm just... So actually you... ran, I'm actually randomly mixing some blues up. I've got a kind of, it's quite unique, that sort of um, Greek blue. Yeah, um, it's, it's almost what we would call a process it's blue. A, it's, it's a flag blue, it's, it's on all their windows and well, so Well, we had it in Essaouira as well, isn't it? And they actually, we bought some. Where is that? That's right, I could go. <laughs> we I, actually bought some pigment. Or organized, we bought some that. pigment in Essaouira because so many of the... Um, here we go, let's try this. What was it? The shutters were pa <coughs> painted. Yeah. That blue. So I've Excuse just... Excuse my coughing. I've just done... A little bit of that. I might come back to uh, adding another another layer on here. But if in doubt, just err on the side of caution, get it a bit lighter. And then just come that, bring that down. I think yesterday I, I did this and... Um, it came out really, really strongly, almost too strongly. So um, I'm just, oh, I haven't realised I've missed that, all, that, all that stuff in the middle. It doesn't really matter though. No, I can come back, I can come back to that. But uh, actually while we're at it, I'm going to recklessly mix up a kind of bluey green with um, literally a lime green. And um, once again, I'm just sort of, if in doubt, just try it out. Even if you're working with a journal, it's nice to have some scrap paper so you can uh, just try some things out. A bit more yellow in there. Let's try that. It's, um, it's, it's about the demonstration rather than colour accuracy today. So I'm just literally going to put... Let's just thin that down a little bit. There we go. And this is probably a little bit stronger, but I'm just going to, I mean, this water is so beautiful there, isn't it? It's, it's incredible, it is so isn't it? It's clear on these little harbour scenes. It's funny, our water here in the south of France isn't quite as blue and translucent as it tends to be on the Greek, no, Greek right. islands. It's yeah. a different, I mean. It, okay, so that's, I see, while I've got this kind of greeny blue mix in, if you look at the reflections of these, buildings here. That blue green seems to come in where you've got reflections, isn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah. So over here as well. And it kind of runs out, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit there. And it's a bit going across there like that. Just little flicks here and there. Good. I've got a few more things here. What's that? So that could well be, I think it need to be a little bit stronger. But what I'll do now is this is all dried. I'll keep this quite quite simple. I'm going to just put some um, sort of bluish grey on these um, windows. That's going to be dry enough. So you need to kind of uh, talk amongst yourselves for a few minutes while I uh, just bring these in. That's probably a little bit heavy. So yeah, perhaps go a little bit darker here. It looks a little bit strong, so I'm going to go a little bit dark on this boat there. Damp brush, fade it out. And then this one's stronger again, isn't it? So, good, yeah, let me just... That one almost needs to be... I think it does. ...a little bit stronger. That's um, kind of blending in Let's go mad. Let's turn it up. Uh, take a deep breath. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Okay, that is stronger. Don't worry, that's, it'll be all right on the night. Um, like I said, I mean, I've done this 
pretty, pretty quickly. And I would have spent a little bit more time um, um, sorting out the, we're trying the colors out. In fact, I think this is a very specific color. I think if I'm doing, well, I am doing this trip to, uh, to Greece in May, I'm going to have to get some, um, proper, some Greek colors, aren't I? To make sure that uh, these are Do you think there are palettes that Regardless. Carry on regardless. Shall do the um, song as well. If you like. <laughs> and then um, let's, sort of, let's just get some black in there, I think. Um, there we go. So now it's going to be. I still do it. I'm going to have to dry this again. Um, as I said, normally would like lean back, have another coffee, and um, start in this sort of thing. Here we go. A little, uh, in, I mean, actually, what in hindsight, what um, what I might have done is let's just bring that up a little is concentrate on the boat. You could, you could quite easily just concentrate on the drawing of the actual boat, um, what, while, you're, then, while you're sat in your Greek cafe, yes. What and then, really, what just kind of put an, an absolute impression in of the background and not really worry about yeah, the details yeah. at all. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, um, especially if you push for time, if, um, if your, your, your coach is going back to wherever. On this Greek trip, you're actually going to be doing a bit of um, journ travel journaling as well as sort of proper watercolour stuff, aren't you? Yeah, in fact, it's, it's mostly themed as um, a kind of a journal, journal style. So okay. that's why I was keen to try out the various um, uh, journals, especially now. That's how we've kind of come across that ring binder um, because it just looks like a, a nice way to work. So, um, da, da, da. and um, what is it? I think you most mornings you're going to be painting. And then yeah, there's they, actually a sort of a tour guide with you. And in the afternoon, you're going to be doing slightly more touristy things, aren't you? Sort of yeah, no, olive oil um, tastings and visits to... Yeah, I think I've got it away lightly. I think we'll be... Potteries and... <coughs> excuse me. We'll be going out um, painting in the mornings. And then, yeah, it'll be a nice lunch in a little taverna somewhere, I think. Um, and then it'll be yeah, a bit, either a bit more painting, I think, for those who want to. I think otherwise I'll be, you know, trips to, to various sites and so on. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice mixture. Plus the visit, traveling overnight, not overnight, traveling uh, to Santorini for a and couple you, of nights. Yeah, you're spending, is it a night or two that you're spending in Santorini? Two. Okay. Or is it just one? Early morning start, uh, afternoon's painting in Santorini, stop overnight and then do another sort of trip out to an archeological site in the morning. And um, so yeah, there's never a dull moment. I think it's gonna be, uh, Good fun. Sorry, you can't come down. <laughs> yeah, just you know. <laughs> so actually, what I'm going to do now? You've got the glamorous side of the job. So there we are. Yes. What we've got in here, I'm just going to. If you look at these little, few little terraces, I'm just going to pretend I've got a little shadow there now. If you have a look, there are a few little, little terraces. balconies. Okay. So I'm just literally going to put a, a few things in there. That's, so now we're not short, not far away from adding some details. It's still, yeah. Let's compare it a little bit. Well, let's have a little bit more down here. Come on. 
Um, don't get too bogged don't get, down. All right. Okay. It's something yeah. that Simon always tells his students. Yeah, that's it. Step, step, away, step away from the board. So let's just do a little bit of that. Flick them that way. Maybe a few little uh, things down here. Look, I quite like that. You see, what, what is nice about watercolour is... I struggle with boats, but yours have really popped out. Oh, popped out. I hope, I think they're on the way to be sinking. But that's good. The, the, the key thing, I think it's even not so clear in the photograph, is that kind of contrast. You've, you've got the lightness of the water there and the building in the background, but then the intensity of the blue here. It just makes it... It's not um, being scared of that intensity as well right, to make yeah. it pop out, isn't it? And it's, it's kind of having an idea of how it's all going to look um, before we finish, which is why it's good to do a little thumbnail first. Even splash a little bit of colour on that to see how it looks. But it's kind of tonally is, is the important thing as well. Um, I might just... So what I would do now, let me just uh, grab a pen. I mean, the great thing about journals is... They are fantastic memories. I know nowadays exactly, we all yeah. have a phone. Yeah. But, you know, Simon has got, um, I don't actually know where oh, they yeah. are. Well, he's had got a number of journals well, that this is, he's um, been doing. And, I'll just and let it dry. Just hold on a second. And um, I always think, you know, one day for our nieces and nephews, or even if maybe, I don't know, Simon's not here and I still am, they are going to be such fantastic memories to go through and... So yeah, these are just, this was, this was one a day in May a couple of years ago. Trips to Spain, watching the Tour of, Tour of Italy, um, more trips to dogs, some cartoons as well. Wait, so yeah, it's a nice That kind of was technique. a discipline that you created for That's yourself, right. wasn't it? Yeah, that was hard work. One a day in May. Yeah. Um, once again, just a loose Where's pencil that? skirt. That's in Lawrence. Oh. oh, is that the house Lawrence in Lawrence? Lawrence? Yeah, we yeah. did a painting there, didn't we? And... Uh, some lives, just, oh, more Moroccan trips. Fantastic memories. Yes. So it's, it is great to thumb through the yard. This was, I did some actual painting on plein air. Do you remember on the edge of the desert? No, I don't remember. I oh, was, you were in I bed. I was lying <laughs> sick in bed. So it was a terrible day, Di, terrible day. <laughs> more sort of on the road stuff. But anyway, okay. we digress. Let's go back to Greece. <clears throat> Sorry, as, as you can see, they're fantastic memories. It's easy yeah. to get page through them and get caught up in so much better than um, having all your photographs online anyway so i'm just i'm going to do a little bit more just some very rough so you're back with your pen now back with the pen now yeah see so this is just adding the details in here and there just kind of strengthening it up i'm gonna yeah so there's like some Canopies there. So I'm just going to swap hands. My arm has gone rather yeah. dead on the right hand side here. Yeah. We've got some, you know, I'm it's just nice just to put a few little lines and hint at some chimneys or some little aerials on the roof. Um, that's going to be coming there. And then I think what we'll do is just take that. We're getting mainly Simon's hand. Okay, um, so yeah, I've kind of, there's a little slightly more modern boat down here. I'm just going to sketch. So you're just sketching that in rather than... Yeah. Yeah, perhaps I could have done a little bit more detailed drawing before putting the work in. But the nice thing is, you know, you can come back now. I, like, I kind of quite often like doing this. Just adding a little bit of details and little dots here and there. This one's got a canopy as well. Sorry, I, you're going to have to, you'll see it kind of as he finishes it. I can't okay. quite get in below um, his hand. Do you want to come on the other side? Um, oh, no, that's no, right. it's fine. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of, we've got some ropes here, look. And that's the reflection now. It, by putting the lines on top, it just kind of recesses the, the colour work a bit as well. I've got a little canopy on here somewhere. I might just go in with some white. White, I hear you say. Okay. I just have, I've missed a few bits and pieces off the boat, but you get the idea, I think. You know, you could go on adding details. This can be just a little shadow there. And that's going to be... I must admit, I've always liked, even when you work at this big style, I, I like it. Your, your looser sketches. Right, I think yeah. they have a kind of, 
Yeah, a character of their own, which is yeah, yeah, that's inspiring, nice. somebody sort said. Sort of like a rustic. Oh, now we've got an interesting uh, pool of reflection here. But I'm going to ignore it. It'll, it'll be what it'll be. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white, but I've just strengthened some of these up in the background. How are we doing for time, darling? Is, that, um, is this going to be good? I think we're more or less there, love. We've almost done an hour and we promised that... people half an hour. So. Oh dear. Okay. Sorry, that's probably me chatting away as per usual. Anybody who's met me in person will yeah, know that a few, I'm a little a chatty. Few lines in there. Um, I put, I'll just finish off with a little bit of a little bit of white, if that's okay. Um, I've got some. So what are you using? Gouache. This is uh, yeah. I've been using watercolor paint up until now, and this is watercolor paint with um, extra pigment, making it a gouache, and it's it's, it's opaque, so it's, it's quite handy for yeah to put in some. Just some little highlights on the here and there, look. Quite good for the ropes, yes. Suddenly yeah. they've popped out, that's I good. Know, yeah, so I might put a little thing on here and there. Just catching the edges of these. But if you're using white, it really is a case of not overdoing it, is it? It is. You're right, let's put a hint of a flag. Just catching a little bit of light on there. That's hanging from there. That'll do. And what about a little, just... Sometimes you can just add a few little spots of sun, and I think that. How about here? Just breaks up the uh, reflection over there a bit. Do you know what? I think I'll stop there. What do you think? I think I think we need to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of that coffee. But um, now, hopefully, that, hopefully, that's given you an idea. Like I said, it's normally um, a little bit smaller, a bit more relaxed. I have worked a little bit too quickly. Um, but the idea is to do yeah, a very loose, quick sketch. Don't be too get too bogged down with the details, and then put some bold colours on. Thinking primarily of the the tonal difference, that light water in the background, the, the colour of the boat, the shadows, and then you can uh, add a few more lines in just to put it all together. And we're going to be doing a live for kind of once a month, possibly once a week. I think we are. A couple a of idea. months. Yes. Um, you know, I mean, let's be honest, we're here to try and encourage people to come on holidays with us. Yes. So we'll probably what? Who be... Who wouldn't like to come on holiday with us? <laughs> so we'll probably be doing scenes um, from places that we're going to be visiting. Yeah, this is obviously uh, the Greek island of Crete, where I'll be in May. We're going to be doing two French holidays, one in June and one in September. And then there's the new one, adventure one in Morocco, which is... Well, big. not that adventure. It's adventurous, but it's... Oh, yeah. Nice places to stay, comfy. nice <laughs> places to eat. I've, the, the phrase is Simon Luxurious, I think. That's, somebody dubbed it that, yeah, as that last year, wasn't it? But uh, the places are running out in all holidays.